Hello, I'm Zainab Khan, and I'm looking forward to joining you at the NUS National Conference. My job at the NUS is to chair the Democratic Procedures Committee. We look after all the democracy that occurs to ensure it's carried out fairly, properly, and that it's accessible to as many of you as possible. At National Conference, we'll be joined by students and officers across Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland and England to focus on the next steps of our Students Deserve Better campaign to fight for a new vision for education alongside building out our Decolonise Education campaign. For more information, you can watch Larissa's video to learn all about the campaigning that will go on during conference. In this video, myself and other members of DPC will walk you through everything you need to know about this year's conference. So whether you're a first time delegate or a seasoned conference goer, we can't wait to welcome you to this year's conference. Now, on to the rest of the committee members to let you know what to expect. Hi there, my name is Toby and I'm going to be talking about what is happening at conference. Now, as a conference attendee, you can expect spaces where you can build your networks and connections as well as meaningful involvement in shaping the next steps of our campaigns and also chances to grow your own campaigning skills to take action. In addition, we'll be electing the Democratic Procedures Committee and National Scrutiny Council members at conference. And you can find out more about the candidates on the NUS website where you can also view election speeches. The other main reason people come to conference is to work out what we are going to do about key issues as a movement. So on this, we're going to be working together to shape what NUS will be vocal and visible on through policy workshops. Another thing to note is that everything will be online and as a delegate, you'll be emailed Zoom links to participate. We've created the agenda with lots of breaks so that you're not spending too much time staring at your screen. Also, each day we'll have two key conference slots of two hours, um, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. And there will also be optional energizers as well as information sessions throughout the conference. Hi, I'm Eve and I'm going to talk to you about how we discuss policy at conference. At National Conference, we used to discuss ideas like Parliament does. Lots of speeches, for and against motions, and only a few people speaking. That debating style meant that not very many people's voices were heard, and there was, wasn't a chance for people to answer questions or learn about issues as we discussed them. So we changed all that. This year, Online, we'll have smaller group discussions on each policy idea. Everyone will be able to ask questions and you'll be able to work out which bits you agree with and which bits you disagree with as a group. Then you'll be able to vote on whether you agree with them afterwards. You'll be able to choose which sessions you go to. At the workshops, trained facilitators will guide you through the discussions. There will be an intro from the SU who submitted the policy idea or someone that they nominate and you'll get a chance to ask and discuss questions as a group. Once the questions are answered, you'll come together to decide what you agree with and what you disagree with, and if you want to make any changes to those proposals. Once conference is finished, you'll receive an email with a link to cast your votes on each of those proposals. So what policies are we discussing at conference? I'm Mariam and I'll be going through them. First of all, we want to reiterate that what we're discussing has been decided on by you. Over the last couple of months, DPC has been receiving policy proposals from students' unions. These were then voted on by conference delegates to prioritise the six topics that will be the focus of our discussion. Those topics are fees and finance, mental health, sexual violence, NDAs and relationship abuse, Erasmus and student housing. These are all really timely issues for us to be discussing as a movement and the proposals can all be found on nus.org.uk. I'd recommend taking a look at them ahead of conference. So that's what we're discussing at conference. As DPC, we're really keen to ensure that this online conference is accessible to all delegates. I'm Phil and my pronouns are he, him, and I'm here to tell you about what we're doing to make that happen. We've put together a guide on accessibility, which you can find on the NUS website. We're hiring speech to text reporters to attend our main conference spaces to provide live and accurate captions and we'll make sure to publish any speech transcripts that are submitted to us on the website. 
will subtitle videos and use alt text in images. We're asking every attendee to tell us if they have any access requirements when they register, so if you're worried that you might have missed telling us something, once you have registered, just email membership at nus.org.uk. There's more on what we're doing in our accessibility guide, so please do take a look. This guide also includes some key things for you to remember going into an online NUS conference, such as making sure you add your pronouns to your name in Zoom, speak slowly and clearly, and don't talk over each other. Please do check out the full guide on the website and let's work together to make sure conference is accessible to all. So that's what's happening at conference. I hope you found that useful. I'm Lucy and I'm going to talk to you about what you can do to get ready for conference. First of all, do read up on the conference materials on the NUS website. All the links are in the description and it's got lots of information on the agenda, policies, candidates and more. In particular, I'd like to encourage you to read the policy online and better still, get together virtually with other delegates and discuss the policy proposals. NUS have provided training slides with a mini version of the conference workshops you can run through as a delegation. You could also reach out to other students' unions to talk to other delegates about conference. Lastly, if you don't get to do any of that, don't worry. There will be time at conference to get to grips with the issues, chat with the delegates and hear back from NUS officers. There you have it. That is the NUS National Conference 2021. Thank you so much to all members of DPC for participating, and I really hope you found it useful. This is a brand new conference format for the NUS, and the first time we've tried to do a conference this way. I'm really excited to see how it goes, but more importantly, to meet you guys. So take part, link up with others, and don't forget to cast your vote.